we, we, we start off uh, playing UTSA, and, and, I, and I think we out hit those guys two out of three games. We had to Florida, and we did the opposite. We didn't hit. So uh, that was kind of a rough start there, and we actually picked up our first win in Florida. Uh, but that first one was a doozy. I mean, it happened in the bottom of the seventh. So this past weekend, I was very, very happy. Um, we ended up 2-2 two and two on the weekend. Should have been 3-2. and two. Iowa State uh, manipulated a game and, and, and purposely delayed a game. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the win. We were up 4-0 to zero in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. Uh, and I'll leave that one alone. But 2-2 uh, two and two on the weekend, uh, heading to LSU, I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, we hit the ball well. Um, our defense and our pitching was fantastic. I don't use the word fantastic a lot because I have high expectations for my team. Um, pitching and defense kept us in, if not won us, a lot of games uh, at an LSU weekend where we finished, again, tied for second place at that tournament. I'll take that any day of the week. You know, I'm not scared to play teams like that. We've played some big teams already this year, and LSU being one of them right currently, they're 22nd in the nation. Uh, and, and at 7.07 on, on Saturday night, you can see why. They can hit, they can pitch, they can field. Um, they outhit us and outplayed us, period. Uh, I'd hate to say we're outmatched, but player for player, hitter for hitter, we were just outmatched. So that was a very tough game. Again, I'm not scared to play those types of teams. Uh, we played Baylor this year. We're playing A&M. Uh, we go to ULL. Uh, a top 10, top 25 uh, contender for a national championship team on, on, on Thursday. So I'm not scared to play those types of teams. It kind of shows you what your weaknesses are. We win our conference. Those are the teams in region we're going to face. It, it's time we face them now to show our kids, hey, this is what we're made of. I'm not the, the, the type of coach, and this team is not the type of team that's scared to lose. Again, unlike Iowa State where they're scared to lose, they start manipulating the game a little bit and wasting time. We're not scared to lose. And when you play those big uh, contenders, the LSUs, the ULLs, the A&Ms, the Baylors, like we are this year, um, they're going to expose your weaknesses. ULL's tough. Um, something that they do that not a lot of other teams do this well in the country is hit. Um, you know, I, I think their hitters are, 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 I think their pitchers are hittable. I think their defense has, you know, maybe a hole here and there. Um, they are known for their hitting. Uh, and on Thursday, you'll see why. Uh, they put up five, eight, ten runs a game. They average multiple hits a game, uh, double-digit hits a game. They, they, they average about eight, eight and a half, nine runs a game. Uh, they are a very, very good hitting team. So we need to kind of keep them off the bases. We need to, when runners get on, we need to get that last out. Um, and that's something other than this past weekend we don't do well. Hitting. Um, we've, we've come back from Florida and said our approaches and our ABs have not been quality. Um, we're swinging at a strike, but not necessarily our strike. There's a difference between looking at an inside pitch versus looking at an outside pitch. That pitcher wants to get ahead of the count. The hitter wants to stay ahead of the count. So we've talked a lot about at-bats and approaches. I think we utilized that very, very well, and it worked to our advantage this past weekend. We're going to continue to work at just quality ABs. Um, swinging at the right pitches, being more efficient than the other team. We need to hit with runners on and score with runners on before two outs. And, and before last week, we're, we're, we're getting multiple hits with two outs. Um, we are hitting solo home runs instead of multiple uh, runners on base with that home run. So we're, we're talking quality at-bats this week.